Hi everybody, welcome to Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff. Today I'm going to be making a rotisserie duck under the hashtag rotisserie cooking. And um, it's going to be a collaboration. You're going to see all of the cards coming up along the top. So please hit them and check their channels out. Remember, hashtag rotisserie cooking. First thing we need to do is get this bird seasoned up. I'm just going to use some standard Chinese five spice that I got from the supermarket. I'll just give it a good going over with this stuff because I want it to be as tasty as possible. In fact, what I'm going to do is cut that neck bit off in a second. Give it a real good rub in. because this is going to be spinning around I've already patted the bird dry as well which is quite a useful thing I'm going to leave that in or not mm. but the barbecue's on and I'm going to be doing it at a nice low heat so give all of this good duck fat a good chance to render out I'm going to need to tie this bird up as well because um, I don't want any bits flapping around while well, it's on the rotisserie. I need some on the legs. And hopefully, it's going to be a nice, easy cook to be honest. I found rotisserie cooking really easy. So I've got this old girl all ready for the barbecue. It's all trussed up nicely. Nice and secure so nothing's going to move around. Got the spit through the bird. Went through really easily. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. But what I am going to do is make sure that this part gets stuck into the duck. And really drips onto it. because obviously this is what's going to hold everything in and give it a go this side as well give it a really good squeeze up to make sure nothing will come loose during the cooking process Hopefully that's kind of set in the middle. So here I am outside, battening down the hatches. There's a storm on the way, so uh, we've got an amber weather warning for wind. Uh, so that should be quite interesting. Hopefully the duck will be done by then. Uh, the barbecue's ticking along at a steady 150C, which is about 300 Fahrenheit. So it's going to be a nice slow cook on the rotisserie. I'm going to get it on and I'll show you what's going on. The duck's all um, offered up on the spit, all balanced out nicely. Just going to add another cup of water to avoid any flare ups from all of the fat. That's obviously um, going to cause a problem. There's obviously duck fat and fire. You don't want to mix them, not unless you want a really big fire. I'm going to add um, three more briquettes on either side just to maintain the heat. Obviously, um, I want to keep it going. Switch her on. Look at that, we're off and running. Even my phone agrees. So I'm just going to bang the lid on now. 
the duct spinning around. I'm just going to probe it now with the old um, trusty thermal pen. Give it a good stick in. That's 64 and a half. That's annoying. There's a way to go yet. I want that up to 95 to pull, so um, watch this space. So I've got half a um, bunch of spring onions here. Just going to take the stalks off. Nice sharp knife, obviously. Discard these. Take it back down to about here. Discard that. And then peel these off. Back to some nice looking fresh stuff. So as you can see I've cut the spring onions up. They all look nice and um, ready to be eaten. Gonna do the same again with the cucumber. I've um, done the cucumber. Very labour intensive if I'm honest for what I've got. So um, if you're not that fussed by cucumber I'd swerve it to be fair. Right, so I'm going to give this a bit of a cut up and see how we get on. To be fair, it's just shredded to pieces. I don't need a knife. Let's get stuck in with a couple of forks. It's done so well, I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to stick it in a couple of pancakes. Okay, so you can see everything's ready to go now. I'm just gonna assemble a pancake. Grab a bit of duck. Sprinkle her in. This is going to be more like a duck taco, I think. Mm. We've got some seaweed here. Spring onion. Some hoisin sauce. And a little plum as well. Give it a roll up, hopefully. Oh man, so looking forward to this. Right, <coughs> here we go for the taste test. I'll tell you what, that's as good as any Chinese pancake I've had in a restaurant. Mm. So good. I'm going to have to try another one just to make sure. A bit of spring onion. Crispy seaweed, that's how I roll. <coughs> A little bit of hoisin sauce. I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit more like a duck pancake, doesn't it? So if you like what I do, please
please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget about the rotisserie collaboration. Check out the cars at the beginning. This is Ryan from... Hi everybody, welcome to Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff. Today I'm going to be making a rotisserie chicken. No, I'm not. 